Hi, in this video we will see how to work with the timeline to create an animation. So first we need to show the timeline to it. and we click on window art here. Then we check the timeline. Now we can create animations and videos. To create your first video, you click right here, create video timeline. As you can see, we have this layer 0, which is the same layer right here. And if we rename it, we call it background. It will be renamed to so we can create new layers and we'll create shape let's say circle now we will add an animation to this circle So to animate this circle, we will use the timeline tool. We have Eclipse 1 right here. We click on this arrow to show more options. So you make one click and you find position, opacity style, vector mask position and vector mask enable. So what we do now is to precise the first position and the add position. You can even change the length of the timeline for now we have 5 seconds so now we click on opacity to initiate the opacity effect So this is the first one, we have 100 and in the second position I want it to be 10% so I move the mouse and I change its value to 10. So we will play the video and as you can see the opacity is changing by time. So we will add now another opacity. I want it to go back to 100. So we will play the video again. We can even apply more effects like the position. So I want to add a transition effect by using vector mask position. So we initiate the first position, then we move the shape
and Photoshop will apply the effect on the final position so now we'll play the video so it's transparent then 100 and it's moving so this is how you can create animations and video with the timeline tool of photoshop thank you for watching In the last lesson, we saw how to use the Timeline tool to create animations. And in this lesson, we'll see how to create GIF image and how to export these images. So let's start. This Photoshop document is the same used in the last lesson. So we will simply add new animations then we will export our file into GIF image I will add this rectangle I change the color I want that when the black circle achieve this position the red rectangle move, moves to the left so Let's play the video. So I will move the rectangle. Just a few pixels. Now I will add some animations to the rectangle. I want that when the circle achieve this point, the rectangle moves to the left so I will initiate the initial position of the rectangle right here so the animation will start at this moment then it will end right here when the rectangle make this transition so let's play the video okay now we will see how to export this animation we click on file export save for web and we choose gif
and I will change this looping option into forever ok and I will save Hi, in this lesson we will see how to export videos with Photoshop. So in the last lesson we made this animation. And now we will export it. So we click on file. Export render video is initializing now you can choose the format quality you name it for example I will name it timeline then I will export it right here and I click on render I already have a file so I will replace it it will take few minutes So now we will play the video. I will go to the, my folder. So this is my video exported.